All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, today, we are going to be doing an event today, so we're gonna be doing a little bit of training. I'm gonna take you guys along with us. Uh, we are about four or five weeks out from the Rainier Classic Pro Am here in Washington State. So today, what we're doing is we're working on our ascending deadlift ladder. We have a 13-inch axle deadlift off wagon wheels, self-loaded um, from 550 up to 700 pounds. So today what we're gonna do is we are actually running that full thing. It's our last big deadlift day before competition where we're actually gonna be able to lift up to that 700 pounds. So I'm gonna take you guys through training. Let's go ahead, let's get to it. <sighs> yep. And before I forget, I need to tell you guys that this is pretty much the same event that they ran in World's Ultimate Strongman, I believe 2019, might've been 2020, where they had the axle and the competitors self-loaded themselves. After the first guy attempted it, they switched up to the uh, judges and uh, uh, people on the side putting on the plates for the competitors. It hasn't been said whether they're gonna be doing that yet, so we're gonna train like they have it in the instructions. We are going to self-load. If they have the uh, people there to be able to load for us, that'll be awesome, but we're gonna train like they're not. All right, let's go. in the back office. Lift didn't quite go how I wanted, but I feel happy that we can carry that over into the meet, at least get four out of the five, hopefully get five out of the five. A couple of things we took from that, so we've got to work on our speed a little bit in transitions and in our setup. Uh, maybe we'll play around with our straps in the first few lifts, so that way we don't have to worry about getting them on and off every time, because that took a lot of time. Uh, anyways, I feel good. You know, it's a tough lift, tough meet. Um, we still got four weeks to build, grow, get better so we can come into competition and kick some ass. All right, let's go ahead and get to the rest of the training. We're gonna put away the weights, catch our breath, grab some water, eat some gummy bears, and then we'll be on to, I believe, axle pin presses next. Let's go. Presses went really well, hit the 290. All it was supposed to be was RPE 8. Worked up to RPE 8 at the 290 for the three reps. We ended up doing four sets, two top sets, two back offs. Those went really well, feeling really good about the press. Action press is really coming along. Now we move on to some accessories today. So we got Penley Rose and Ab Wheels. After that, our only job is to go eat some food and recover. Um, I'll see you guys after the Penley Rose and after the ab wheels, see you in a bit. 
finished up now thank you guys for coming along for the training I can't wait to put together really good products on meat day hopefully that deadlift gets a little bit better we'll be cleaning up a couple of things uh, we're outside now just because there's some people finishing up in there and I don't want to bother them by recording a video um, anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video hope you enjoy tagging along when we do some of these training vlogs so you can see the the work that we put in the blood sweat and tears because this shit ain't easy it ain't easy at all it is tough but man it is fun Anyways, now my job is to go eat, go sleep, and go get in a nice bath. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.